Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to tell you about the synopsis of Big Mouth Episode 3. The transformations begins. Episode 3 of Big Mouth picks up from the previous episode cliffhanger with Park Chang-ho stranging an escape and yelling at the guards to shoot him. It doesn't work as the warden realizes it's Chang-ho and ensures he's captured alive. He informs Gong ji about it, who in turn warns him to keep Chang-ho alive. At Kuchun University Hospital, Miho is introduced to her new college. As a, as a part of a hazing ritual, they leave her to administer medicines for the patients alone. She takes it in her stride, but soon comes across a patient who seems to be dying. She saves him with CPR, but gets in trouble for doing so. All the patients on the seventh floor have a do not resuscitate order. Later, she overhears the relative of a patient being forced to sign a DNR as otherwise the patient will not be given the surgery. Back home, Miho, her father, and Sunte discuss her professor's soul research paper must have something to do with this. Sunte has Miho the different papers that Chan Ho had him draw up but she tears them up. At the prison, the warden comes bundle of cash and goes through a notebook with names and numbers. He then calls us assemble for Ward 2, reiterating that he is a god of this planetary and he then starts dividing the inmates into groups. Jerry explains to Chang Ho that the groups are different grades. Grade A are those who are in warden's good books or who pay him every month like the room leader who reads the warden's fortune. They get various benefits while the others don't. Chang Ho tries standing up against this practice, but the warden has him taken away. He ends up in grade C where he and the other inmates are forced to work in the sewers. Meanwhile, the three suspect from the Kuchan hospital murder and list another inmate to kill Chang Ho. He tries stabbing him in the courtyard, but Chang Ho it pays his attacks. Once again, sit by watching Carter. Chang Ho realizes that the three suspects are not the ones who frame him as Big Mouse. In his office, the warden tells Chang Ho to compensate him for the number of times he saved his life. He asks for 5% of 100 billion won Big Mouse stole from Lala Capital. He then tells Chang Ho that he is alive only because Ji Hoon thinks he is Big Mouse. Should his cover be, be below, Ji Hoon will easily eliminate his family. The trip to Miho makes Chang Ho lose his school. He admits to being Big Mouse, threatens the warden's family, and promises to show him what makes Big Mouse. Meanwhile, Miho is questioned by the prosecutor, who tries to pressure her to add meaning Chang Ho is Big Mouse. She stands her ground, sitting by a bus stop later, she reminisces about the time when Chang Ho first asked her out. It was right after she had broken up with her previous boyfriend, and Chang Ho was carrying a drunken Miho home. Miho tears up about this, while Mayor Choi watched her from a distance. At Mayor Choi's house, Hyun Joo Hee, his wife and the director of Kuchen University Hospital, brings out some wine and glasses. They've been trying to have a baby, but Mayor Choi tells her they should stop. He doesn't want to see her suffer anymore. He asks her about Professor So papers, but she says it's just a rumor. In the sewers, Chang Ho continues to work with the other grade C inmates. Where they are given slop for lunch, he rounds the inmates up and revolts against the guards, demanding better food. Maintaining his vacate as Big Mouse, he wish retreats to the warden and it works. As Great C is allowed into the cafeteria along with the others, they cheer for Chang Ho. Miho and Sonte visit Chang Ho in prison. This is the first time Miho and Chang Ho are seeing each other since his incarceration and the reunion is emotional. Chang Ho insists to be the D force as he is resigned to being in prison forever, but Miho claims she will keep fighting. She says she will do the same where the roles reversed. Back in solitary, 
Zhang Ho decided to survive to meet Ho Six. To do so, he fully accepts his role as Big Mouse. He tells Jerry to ask 50 inmates' wishes. Only three do so. One of them is room leader who asks Zhang Ho to find him missing daughter. Another is psychopath who killed nine women. He wants Zhang Ho to save his mother, a leukemia patient who needs a transplant. As Miho works in hospital, she tries to find out about Professor Soul paper, but all the staff feign in ignorance. She then called in to meet the director who has found her connection with Chang Ho. Hyun Joo Hee asks Miho to resign, but the latter refused. Miho tries asking about Professor Soul's paper, but not to not appeal. Outside the office, the relative of patient in room 701 approached Min Ho. She claims her husband in a drink is in danger, but runs away as the head nurse arrives. In the prison's VIP room, the three suspects hatch another plan to murder Chang Ho. This time, they broke in the warden too. The man who previously tried stabbing Chang Ho is shifted to Chang Ho's cell, and a priest to have had a change of heart. But later in the laundry room, he brings out a bag full of weapons and hands them out to the gang leader and his luckies. Together, they gang up on Chang Ho and his few followers. The warden keeps his men on standby, telling them to let Chang Ho being stabbed once before interfering. He is double-crossing the three VIPs. The fight begins, and the three VIPs reveal that they've hired the psychopath to do the real damage. But as the psychopath moves to attack Chang Ho, the room leader steps in and takes below. Chang Ho gets the psychopath of him and looks straight into the camera, eyes blazing with anger. That's it for the video. Bye!